Hi, I'm Barbara Rademacher, and one of my students has a question about, well, how the heck do you graph um, vertical lines in my math lab? So we're going to do that right now. Here's a vertical line, x equals negative 2. Well, I'm going to go to this graph, and I'm going to click on it. And here's the toolbar. So I'm going to, this is a straight line. I'm going to click there. And I'm going to go to x equals negative 2. And in the lower left-hand corner there, you can see what the point is. Now, I need two points to graph, don't I? So I am going to go up. Or down, it doesn't matter. I'm going to choose any old point I want. How about negative 2, 3? Or negative 2, negative 4? Or whoop, negative 2, 6? Notice that the y coordinates can be anything, anything, any number I want, but x has to remain at negative 2. That's what x equals negative 2 is, a vertical line, because x will always equal negative 2. So this is as good a point as any. I guess it's 5, uh, negative 2, 5. I'm going to click, and now I have graphed the line. Now I have to check my answer. That's always the, um, <clears throat> the uh, yeah, that's the answer you have to wait for. Nice work. All right, now they're asking me about the slope. Something you want to memorize. You can prove it to yourself. We could, we could prove it to ourselves by finding the slope using the slope formula of uh, the two points that we use to graph this line or any other two points that are on the line. Um, but it's easier just to memorize that the slope of a vertical line is undefined. And therefore, the slope is not defined. So I click there, and I'm done. Good job. I wonder if I'm recording. I'm going to assume I'm recording. All right. Now we're being asked about linear functions, slope, that homework set, 2.5 and 2.6. And basically, it's the same question. We're going to be graphing vertical lines. And we're going to be asked about the slope, probably. So let's see the way this goes. All right, x equals negative 4. I click, I click here, anywhere. That makes the toolbar appear. I'm graphing a straight line. So I click on the graph, a straight line icon. And then x equals negative 4. So I click on x equals negative 4. And then another point in which x equals negative 4. How about negative 4, negative 8? Now I check my answer. Excellent. And it asks me about the slope. Well, it's a vertical line. The slope is not defined. So I click on B, and I check Answer. OK, here's number 14. Y equals 5. Now, what does this say? Well, 
Well, one, one thing it says is I'm going to click on y equals 5. So I click on the graph. That brings up the toolbar. I click on the uh, line icon. And then I go to y equals 5, and I click. Now, I need to go to another point where y equals 5. How about x equals 6? I mean, x equals 6, y equals 5. And I click there. This is a horizontal line. The form that a horizontal line takes is y equals a number. Now, what am I going to do here? I'm going to check answer. That's incorrect. Didn't I go to y equal? No, I didn't go to y equals 5. I went to y equals 3. What could we do? It's a crisis. No, it's not. I will just move these points up to y equals 5. It's not a crisis. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even have to start over. Check answer. Well done. Woo! For us. Now, what is the slope of a horizontal line? Zero. So I click on A, not B. It is defined. The number zero is a number. So I click on zero, and then I check answer. Nice work. Next question. We're going to do it again. F of x equals negative 5. What is f of x? f of x is y. So this is just the equation y equals negative 5. Okay, whatever. y equals negative 5, and we're going to get it right this time. Oh, right, I could click anywhere. Then I could click here. Then I have to go to y equals negative 5. And click. Now I have to go to another point where y is negative 5. Oh, let's go the other way this time. See, it doesn't matter as long as y is negative 5. Now I check answer. Well done. I love this. Now, I have to remember that the slope of a horizontal line is zero. Now, we can prove this, but I need some paper to prove it. So, I'm going to do that after I finish graphing. Zero. The slope is zero. Check answer. Yes. Now, this answers the student's question, so I'm going to go get some paper and prove to you, prove to you that the slopes are, well, the slope of a vertical line is undefined, the slope of a horizontal line is zero. Be right back. Okay, here we are. That wasn't too long. I'm going to write the equation of the first vertical line we worked with, x equals negative 2. And I'm going to make an xy table, xy. The catch here, of course, is that x must equal negative 2. And then I forget what points we actually use, what y coordinates. One was zero. And I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to say five. I don't think that's correct, but it doesn't matter. 
Now I'm going to locate these points on the grid. Negative two, zero. Negative two, five. And there we have two points that we can clearly see are on a vertical line, on the same vertical line. And now, because I don't draw good lines, I'm going to cheat a little bit and use an automatic line. It's a thing that tablets are great for. Now it's not perfectly straight. But there are, uh, that one's really not good. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, that'll do. Now, I'm going to put arrows because these lines go on forever and ever. And what? Well, there's the graph. X equals negative 2. But how do I know what the slope is? Well, okay. Here are my two points, negative 2, 0. And negative 2, 5. I'm going to use the slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which means I need an x1, y1, and an x2, y2. This is a point, and this is, excuse me, a point. How cool is that? So uh, I, it doesn't matter which I choose, but I'm going to let this be x1, y1. And I'm going to let this be x2, y2. And I'm going to come down here and say, hmm, y2 minus y1, 5 minus 0 over x2, negative 2, minus negative 1. Okay, now I'm going to increase the size there. I want you to see this. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Never mind. Negative 2 minus, ah, 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 negative 2. Negative 2 minus negative 2. There. Perfect. Notice you have two negative signs here. You have to be careful not to lose a negative sign. That's your biggest danger when there. When you are subtracting a negative number, sometimes if you're not thinking, uh, you can just put one of the negative signs in, and that will cause you to get the problem all wrong. Now, I'm going to rewrite this. 5 minus 0 is 5. Negative 2 minus negative 2 is negative 2 plus 2, because negative times negative is positive. And notice that negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So my slope is 5 over 0. But oh, this number, because the denominator, the bottom, equals 0, is not defined. 
division by zero is not defined. So the slope is undefined. Let me write that down. And since the answer in my math lab is slope is not defined, that's the same thing. That will always be true with vertical lines. Okay, I need to make it a little smaller or move it down or something because the whole thing is no longer in the picture. Doggone. And we're right there at the top. Well, I don't like that at all. Thank goodness we're moving to the bottom grid and I will get larger again. There we are. I'll have to look at how that happened. All right, now let's look at a horizontal line. How about y equals 5, the first horizontal line we graphed. y equals 5. And I can make a table, an xy table. Only now, y has to be 5. 5, 5. And X can be anything I want it to be. How about zero and three? Just because I like easy numbers. I could choose hard numbers if I wanted to. But why do it? This will give me the point zero five, which is on the Y axis. But of course, this is Y equals five. And this point is 3, 5. So, 0, 5, put it in the right place this time. And 1, 2, 3, 5. These two lines are on the same horizontal line. Let's choose a different color this time. How about green? Okay. And then I'll make green arrows. You can't do this if you're graphing on my math lab, but I can do it because I'm doing it on paper. Okay, this is the line y equals five. Let's find the slope. M equals y two minus y one over x2 minus x1. Okay. And again, because I'm a creature of habit, I'll let this be x1, y1, x2, y2, but we could do this the other way around. This could be x2, y2. This could be x1, y1 as long as you're consistent. Okay, now, y2 minus y1, it's gonna be five minus five over x2 minus x1, three minus zero. Since these are all positive numbers, I didn't put them in parentheses. I like to 
because it helps to keep me from making mistakes. I have found if I always or almost always put negative numbers in parentheses, it really cuts down on my arithmetic errors, and that helps. All right, now let's calculate the slope. 5 minus 5 is 0. And 3 minus 0 is 3. And 0 divided by 3 is, drum roll, 0. It's okay to have a 0 in the numerator, the top, of a fraction. It is not okay to have a 0 on the bottom. So, this is okay. 0 divided by 3 is just the number 0, which is a real number. So, it's perfectly okay. The slope of any horizontal line is 0. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.